Welcome back to another video. I hope everybody had a fantastic Christmas. So today I have got a Model Ones poly gel kit. I'm going to do a set of New Year's nails today and I thought I'll use this kit. So I'm just going to quickly go through it and show you what comes in this kit. So first we've got some dual foams. I have gone off dual foams but if I have to use dual foams these are the ones that I reach for. They're nice and flat and I can make really nice square tips out of them. So I do like them dual foams. They are my preferred ones, should I say, when I do use them. So a little nail prep and application guide there. So this kit comes with six colours. I do believe there's other kits where you, they've got different colour choices. So this one comes with six little 15 gram tubes. And then we've also got a little 15 mil slip solution. And then this is the little clip that you use to clip. They hold your dual foam on, don't they, while you flatten them underneath. I tend not to use them. Then we've got your standard brush and pick a tool. So it's just like a spatula on one end. And then we've got your brush on the other end. Nice brush as well. I like that. Then we've got your nail file, 100, 180. And then we've got your top coat, 10 mil, and your base coat, 10 mil. And then lastly, we've got your little mini lamp. So it's just a USB type 2 power lead. And then your little mini lamp with six little bulbs and it's got little legs. Cute. So it's just a perfect beginner little poly gel kit, isn't it? Right. And they've also sent me over a little pack of nail tips because they know that I like long coffin. So they just sent me an extra supply of long coffin tips. Right. So... The colours this kit comes with is 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and 18. I'm not going to swatch 13 because that is the clear. So I'm just going to quickly swatch them starting with number 14. Nice, nice pale pink. I do like that. That's one of the colours I did use today actually. Then we've got 15. Again, that's a nice colour. Really creamy and opaque. Them two, aren't they? Right, then we've got a glittery one. I used this one today as well. Black. It's got holographic and little gold particles in it. Then 17. This is like a really sheer milky colour. And it's got little holographic particles. Trying to take it out of focus there. It's the only way I can show you the hollow. Very pretty little poly gel. And then number 18. This is a different, unique poly gel colour. I've never had one like that. It's like a really dark grey, isn't it? I like it. This was off Amazon, guys, as well. I forgot to mention. I think they're available on the website as well. Everywhere it is available, I will leave linked in my description box. So, quick bit of nail prep. I am using my left hand, so I do look a bit awkward. I'm just using a little diamond drill bit, and I'm just getting rid of all the dead skin around my cuticle because it will cause lifting. And I did have a little bit of product left on my nail so i'm just using a sanding band on a really really low speed just to get rid of all that bit of product that's still on there and to just scratch up and scuff up my natural nails because it helps with adhesion if you've got your nails all buffed up So I'm just using some alcohol now and a, a nail brush just to give them a really good clean and then for my last bit of nail prep I'm just using some nippers and I'm just getting just the white skin from around my cuticles. Don't pinch it if it's pink, only pinch it if it's white. So I decided, yeah, instead of using nail tips today and doing laser girl method like I normally do, I thought I'll use the dual forms. I always get a few of you asking me if I can do a set using dual forms. So I've sized up all my dual forms there and I'm going to start with my pinky. So on my pinky and my pointer, I wanted to do a bit of a fade using this glittery black. So I'm going to start in the tip of the dual form i did put too much in so i've just scooped a little bit of it out you only need a tiny bit when you're doing this fade so a tiny bit in the tip like that and i'm just gonna fade it off up the nail i didn't want it too high too far up the nail i'm just gonna just pull little tiny bits of that poly gel up the nail and just fade it off 
just like that using the very tip of my brush and fade it off and then I'm going to stick that in the lamp for a full 60 seconds cure I'm going to do the same on the pointer finger I'll do that one off camera So that's both of them cured now. To apply these and attach them to my nails, I'm using that pink and I'm just going to start patting it into that cuticle area. Keep it quite thin at that cuticle. You don't want it really thick and bulky, but it doesn't matter because you're going to be popping the dual forms off. So if it is a bit bulky, you can always file it down at the end. I like to keep it thin at the cuticle. Make sure I get the product right up the sides of that dual form or you'll have bits missing at the sides. And then I've just faded that pink down over the back of the black glittery one. So I'm just going to press it really gently onto my nail to start with. And then push it into my cuticle as close as I can get it without it touching my skin. And I like to keep my fingers wet with alcohol just so I don't stick to any of that poly gel. And then that's going to go in the lamp for a full 60 seconds cure now. So I'm going to leave that on while I do the rest of these nails. So this ring finger is going to be a full nail just using this pink. So just like the previous nail, I'm going to pat it into my cuticle to start with, get my cuticle nice and thin, and then just completely fill that dual foam. Or if you don't want them that long, don't fill it. Just bring the poly gel as far down as you're going to want the length of your nails. But I did want these quite long, so I have brought mine down pretty much to, to the very tip of the dual foam. So again, once I've filled that poly gel, uh, that poly gel, no, nope. once I've filled the dual form and I'm happy with it, I'm just going to place it gently to start with, push it into my cuticle as close as I can get it. This dual form is a little bit small for this nail, actually, I should have sized up, but it was all right. So that's gone in the lamp now as well for a full 60 seconds. So this middle nail is going to be a full nail using this black glittery, it's like gold it's got bits of gold in there and holographic this is going to be a full nail so i'll just let you watch this one last nail guys and i'll do the last two off camera So this is the fun part and I'm just going to twist these dual forms now and pop them all off. This is so satisfying. Just keep twisting the tip of those dual forms and they will just pop off like that. So I've just gave them a little white, mostly underneath because they're a bit sticky underneath. So I'm using one of the little files. I think this was the file that came with the nail tips. And just like my usual filing routine, I'm going to file straight up each side first. Get my sides really nice and straight. And then I'm just going to go around my cuticle. But guys, I quickly realised this was a new file and it was short. I felt it on my skin. So with new files... Always file down them edges because it will rip your skin apart. Just file down all them edges just so it's not so sharp and you're not going to cut yourself. So yeah, straight up my sides and then round my cuticle. I like to just blend in where you can see the edge, where the edge of the dual form was round my cuticle and the sides. I like to just blend that in and then I'm just going to file the very tips, get them really nice into like a, they're more like a tapered square. They're not quite square. They're not quite coughing, are they?
So that's my pinky and my ring finger filed. So I'm going to get the rest of these filed off camera, guys. And I'm just using a buffer now just to remove what's left of the shine. Get rid of all that shine. Right, so that's them all filed and all buffed, so I'm keeping this completely beginner friendly. I've pulled out some stickers. I had black, I did prefer the black and gold for colours, but I did prefer the white and gold for the actual images that was on the stickers. I loved that black and gold wine glass. I thought it went better with the black glittery nails, but I really wanted the 2024 and I really wanted this little wine glass with the bob at. So I ended up going with these white and gold stickers. So I'm going to quickly give all the nails a coat of base coat to start with, just to help my stickers stick a little bit better. And stick that in a lamp for 30 seconds. I've pulled out this little clock. I've been wanting to use this for two years, guys. I thought, absolutely perfect. It's black and it's gold. I can finally use it. So I am literally just going to whack some stickers on these nails, guys. And stick some rhinestones on and my little clock on. And that is it. Right, so that is it now for my stickers. I'm going to go over and get all these stickers sealed in using the Model 1's glossy top coat. That's going to get cured in the lamp for 30 seconds. So finally to finish these nails off I'm just using rhinestone glue I, I totally forgot to show you the rhinestones that I was using guys but I'm just using a mixture of gold chromey kind of ones and then these kind of black mirrored effect ones and the little clock and that is it I'm just putting rhinestones on this ring finger and I'm just going to cure them as I go I have skipped the caviar beads I do attach caviar beads to all the little nooks and crannies like I usually do. So there we go guys, that is then finished. I think these turned out really, really smart. And I think those stickers look like they've been done freehand. They don't look like stickers. And guys, I was contemplating if I would have had an extra half an hour, I really wanted to do the nails matte, but keep the bauble and the little wine glass glossy i really wanted to do that maybe if i've got time tomorrow i will and i'll add pictures but i don't think i'm going to have time but anyway guys that is it for today i will leave links to everywhere the model ones polygel kit is available i have got a discount code for the website i don't think i've got one for amazon if i have i'll stick that in my description box as well happy new year everybody i don't think i'm going to get a chance to speak to you all before new year now but have a blessed, blessed 2024, guys. Thank you all so much for supporting my channel. You don't know how much it means to me. It means the absolute world, especially this year. You have all kept my mind busy, my mind occupied, and I will be forever grateful for that. Happy New Year, everybody. Stay safe. Have a good one, and I'll see you all in 2024.